Good morning. What day is it? Cruise day. <laughs> cruise day. We are going on a cruise to Alaska with my mom, my brother, and sister-in-law. Uh, Ten-day cruise out of San Francisco. We're super excited. We're packing up right now, and we're going to get yeah. on the ship. Can't wait. <laughs> Pretty big. <laughs> Going into our room for the first time. Aww. Wow. It's pretty. Wow, nice big window. This is great. Fancy. We have a nice view. Oh. We just got on the ship, got into our room, and now we're gonna head to the bar to have a celebratory drink. Um, people are boarding slowly but surely, and it's starting to get a little bit busier, but it doesn't look bad now. All right, it's four o'clock, and we're about to take off from the port in San Francisco and go underneath the Golden Gate Bridge, and the view here is so amazing. To celebrate our first night on the ship, we ate at Sabatini's restaurant. Favorite bar called the Explorers Here's Bar. Here's the princess. Welcome Cheers. to Explorers Bar. Yeah, yeah, oh my you go. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Jean and Val definitely took care of us during our 10 day cruise. The Explorers Bar hosted some very fun trivia nights, and the activity directors were very hard. Have you been rummaging through my wardrobe again? <laughs> 
Wonderful song. We did a little gambling and explored some of the different restaurants on the ship. Welcome to Ruby Springs. <laughs> there you go, ham it up. Welcome back. <laughs> Let's go in the house. Botticelli in the house. Excellent, yes. thank you. <laughs> We purchased the Princess Premier package, which included beverages, Wi-Fi, tips, specialty dining, photographs, as well as entered us in a drawing where we won $250. Mike did a little gambling and I got a pedicure in the spa. We were on the cruise during the summer solstice, experiencing the longest day of the year. The sun rose at 4 a.m. and set at 10 p.m. The swells on day two got a little rough. So we made the most of it and had Bloody Marys on the top deck. We reached our first port in Ketchikan, Alaska. Looks like there's two other cruise ships already docked. We're going to get ready to go on our UTV tour. After a quick stop for coffee, we got ready to disembark. After a 40 minute shuttle, we arrived at Ketchikan Adventure View for our UTV tour. First things first, you want to make sure you put your seatbelt on. If you do not, the vehicle will not go over 10 miles an hour and it will profusely be a feat. That will not make for a good tour. <laughs> Waypoint waterfall right in front. There's a lake down below. We're gonna go check it out. We are about halfway done with our ATV tour, and he's gonna take us to Mahoney Lake. A little walk. Um, so pretty up here.
finished the UTV tour and man that was amazing. That was so much fun. Yeah that was uh, pretty neat. Saw some nice waterfalls oh and my gosh. nice lake, Lake Madrone or no? Lake um, Mahoney fed by Mahoney uh, Falls. And now we're having reindeer hot dog. <laughs> We are broken down on the side of the road. <laughs> we um, are headed back to catch a can to catch our ship, but um, and we have about three hours, so hopefully they come and get us and bring us back to the ship on time. So we've been rescued. We, our van is here. We might uh, we might actually make it. Go see the town of catch a can. We arrived back in town with enough time to explore historic Creek Street. We got Dolly's house, <laughs> 1905, and the guys really aren't interested. I guess that's a good thing. Good morning from Juneau, Alaska. We came outside to see the beautiful sights. 6.30 in the morning, gentle breeze, about, what is it, about 53 degrees. We're going to go see Mendenhall Glacier today and do a little hike around the glacier and hopefully um, be able to do a couple other things in June, but that's our main thing. Good morning, Alaska! After a quick water shuttle from the ship, we got on the blue bus for a 20 minute drive to the Mendenhall Glacier Visitor Center. We went on the one mile walk out to see Nugget Falls and the Mendenhall Glacier. so much water so this fresh water comes out and it meets with the glacier water over there it's colored or it's got a silt to it that's glacier silt from the crushing of all the granite or the I don't know what kind of rock it is on the Mendenhall Lake you can see chunks of the glacier that have broken off floating in the lake the lake is just ice cold as you would expect. <laughs> so here's another vantage point of both the glacier and the waterfall. I don't know if you can see the blue that you can see deep inside. Oh, and there's ice, you know, on the shoreline too. Just floating up. We found the best place for viewing away from all the people. We're going on a little hike. Um, it's about three and a half miles and hopefully we'll get some good views of the glacier without all the crumbs. AJ Falls, I didn't even know there was a waterfall on this hike. <laughs> made it to the stairs. God, there's got to be a couple hundred stairs here going down. It's nice that they put this in to get us back here. We're a couple miles from the visitor center. We just got back to where the cruise ships dock and see this Royal Caribbean Ovation of the Seas. This thing is massive. 
So we just got done with the Mendenhall Glacier and in true Sterling fashion, we had to hit up a brewery. We're at the Alaskan Brewing Company. It's right on the uh, docks with the cruise ships and stuff like that. So we ordered a couple of beers and we've got a great view. Well, <laughs> so we're in Juneau. And we're in Juneau, yes. Um, great view, but so partially obstructed <laughs> with the cruise ships. Good, good people watching spot. While we went on the hike, Matt and Tammy went out on a whale watching tour. third port was Sitka, Alaska. We are going to take the water shuttle out to Sitka. After visiting Sitka National Historical Park, we took a quick walk over to the Alaska Raptor Center where they rehabilitate injured eagles and other birds. The Raptor Center also gives homes to eagles who have lost their ability to fly. During our walk back, we found a place that sold delicious clam chowder. We found a chowder place. going out to Sitka. It's a water tender that we took out. So Sitka is our last stop, our last port in Alaska. It's been great. Cute little town. Yeah, really cute. Um, went to the Raptor Center and walked around town, had some clam chowder. Very cute. Small. It's the smallest one and there's only, well, I guess three ships in the port right now. So anyway, going to get off the water tender and get back on the ship. A challenge from Colin Rupert. The goal is to count together to 30. Okay. But any time the number contains a 3 or a multiple of 3, you must say nya instead. Okay. Good luck, gentlemen. Okay. 1, 2, nya. 4, 5, nya. 6, seven, Wait, no, 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 no. Do it again. Do it again. One okay. more time. Okay. 1, 2, nya. 4, 5, nya. 7, 8, Nya, ten, eleven, nya, 
Good morning! We are exploring the Endicott Arm. Gonna see a couple glaciers. We're up um, in glacier water now. You can see the silt. It's so pretty. We've got all the ice cubes, the little break off from the glaciers that are floating in the water. And there's all these waterfalls. Beautiful. Oh my god, it's freezing out here and that guy has shorts and a <laughs> short sleeves. Wow. It's a beautiful morning. These ice chunks are glacier ice chunks. I don't know if you can see how blue that chunk is. Working our way up the Endicott Arm. There are so many waterfalls and ice chunks and we just saw some seals and some pups on one of the floating icebergs or ice chunks. So cute! And the glacier water is beautiful. Yeah. glacier and everyone's saying that we are so lucky to be here with the weather and we can get super close it's high tide so all the conditions are absolutely perfect so we feel very very fortunate Rupert initially when we in Canada yes initially when we had the itinerary for this cruise months and months ago it was supposed to be Victoria which I was really looking forward to um, but it got changed to uh, Prince Rupert so there's a few things to do here we're gonna wander around and there's also a little hike that was on a railroad line um, but now it's a beautiful hike that's along the coastline and we just saw an eagle outside of our window they say that eagles are really plentiful here so looking forward to that and maybe some marine wildlife so gonna go get a little bite to eat and take off Sunken Gardens is the original site of the old courthouse. The brick wall is the old foundation, and at one time during the World Wars, munitions were stored in the tunnels. There's some great shopping in a marina very close to the ship port. quarters of a mile from the port where we docked the ship um, looks pretty popular to a lot of the people that are local but also cruise people um, it's about 1.8 miles out and back we're seeing some beautiful sights it goes right along the coast um, so we're seeing bald eagles and um, a lot of beautiful wildflowers so it's really pretty I dropped in. <laughs> Raspberry. Raspberry. A little tart. Mm, okay. Not right. Oh. 
the drop it. Oh, go get it. Our last two days were at sea, traveling back to San Francisco. We spent our time playing games, soaking in the hot tub, and Mike got second place in the ping pong tournament. We also celebrated his birthday at Crown Grill. Hi everyone, we are back from our Alaska cruise and what a great cruise it was. What a great way to see Alaska on a big old cruise ship and some really cool ports that we went to. It was so much fun and thank you, Lisa. It was amazing. What yeah. a great way to spend my birthday too. <laughs> yeah, thanks mom. So thank you so much. Yeah. And we were so lucky with the weather. Oh my gosh, we had beautiful weather. I don't think any of us packed, um, you know, cool enough clothes. We packed the rain jackets and umbrellas and stuff, but never got any of that. Um, so right. it was wonderful. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so thanks again. So we've been back for about a week and we are staying right now at Nelson Family Vineyards, which is a harvest host and we just love Love staying here we stay here a few times a year it's very peaceful and serene and uh, just just a wonderful place and um, right now we're getting ready to go to the Narrows to spend time with the kids and the yeah. grandkids and uh, be at Blue for Lakes for about a week for 4th of July looking forward to that and then after that we're headed to Tahoe area Donner uh, summit area for a bit and then over to the eastern Sierras to June Lake and Mammoth Lake so that's kind of what's ahead for us for the next few weeks then and we'll then be back maybe home. be back maybe go back to yosemite on our yes. way back home yes if uh, uh highway 120 tioga pass opens up we are going to spend some time in yosemite again because just had a wonderful again. time yeah. yeah then we'll be back home <laughs> so we're getting close yes. um but still lots more adventures to go that we're excited about and so we will see you next time see you soon bye bye <laughs> <laughs> broken down and catch can you can't make this shit up. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>